Hi all, today we are going to discuss about a favorite topic of question paper setters in so many competitive exams like NDNet that is decimal number to binary number conversion. Before going to start, let me give a brief introduction about decimal and binary number systems. The number we use in our day to day life for all mathematical calculations and our transactions are part of decimal number system. So what is the speciality of our number system? It is made up of 10 basic symbols that is 0, 1, etc. up to 9. So if we want to build the next number in our number system we need to use 1 and 0 that is 10 next number other number 11 using 1 and so on. So our number system is known as a base 10 number system that is base of a number system means the total number of basic symbols of a number system. Now we can talk about binary number system. When computers evolved there came a need of new number systems for its better functionality that is number systems binary, octal and hexadecimals evolved. In this video I am only discussing about binary number system. Binary number system have only two basic symbols that is 0 and 1. Therefore every number in this number system is made up of these two symbols. So can you say what is the base of this number system? Obviously it is 2. Since computers use binary number system and we humans use decimal number systems you can understand what is the importance of decimal to binary and binary to decimal conversion so let's talk about conversion in order to convert decimal number to binary you just need to divide that number by 2 that is the base of the number system then you have to mark the quotient and the remainder again you should divide the quotient by 2 and mark the reminder. Repeat this step until you get a quotient of 1 or rarely 0. If you cannot follow the explanation, don't worry. We can do an example. Then the procedure will be clear for you. I have taken an example here. In this, I am trying to convert 5 to a binary number. I have given 10 as the subscript of 5, that is, 10 is written in the bottom of 5 which means 5 is a decimal number or we can say it is a base 10 number. It is just a notation. Even if you have been written as subscript, 5 is always taken as decimal number. Okay. Now let's go to the procedure. I am trying to divide 5 by 2. So then what will be the quotient and the remainder can you say? Okay. 2 into 2 that is 4 on 2 into 3 that is 6 we need 5 so we can take 2 2 into 2 4 so the quotient is 2 and since we need 5 we have a remainder of 1 you just need to write the remainder in the right hand side it is so important now again I am trying to divide the quotient 2 by 2 when I am dividing 2 by 2 2 into 1 is 2 so I have got a quotient 1 since there is no remainder I am writing 0 as the remainder in the right hand side so now as you can see the quotient is 1 so you can stop here redivision process can stop here don't need to go further so just write that one down as the remainder itself so why we stop here because if I am trying to divide 1 by 2 I cannot divide 1 by 2 isn't it so I stopped here that is why I told you just stop when a quotient 1 came isn't it okay now we can write down the binary just arrange or write the reminders from bottom to top direction this is important just need to write all the reminders from bottom to top then what will be the answer so the bottom one is taken first then 0 and then the first reminder 1 ok now the binary equivalent of 5 is 101 so I have forgotten to say something 
in binary number system, each individual symbol that is zero and one is taken. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system. Now, let us understand the concept of binary number system